what's inside you that you maybe haven't discovered for yourself yet or maybe you know about those gifts and talents and you just haven't revealed them yet hi i'm reverend ali beerman i'm very glad you joined us here today for our gathering of metaphysical ministry international so what is this about metaphysics well it explains how we create our reality and it also is the philosophy that lets us understand quantum physics. Now, what exists in the world is way more than what you can experience using only your five senses. So, when you get to be really free to experience beyond what you can hear, taste, see, smell, and touch, your life gets so much richer. We begin every week with a happy share, and it's something that leaves you feeling happy. So, my happy share this week is, ever since it came out two years ago, I've been wanting to upgrade my computer to the operating system called Lion. Now, I know there are other more advanced systems, but I wanted Lion for particular reasons. Only I also knew at the time I couldn't upgrade it because I lose functioning of a number of programs I use all the time. Like this one that you're experiencing right now with the movie. Well, what I did yesterday was I did a whole lot of research and found there's a way I can put Lion on my computer without losing everything that's already there. And what I wanted done, the genius Lewis over at the Apple Store he made it happen exactly as the message had come to me it could be done. So, I'm real happy about that because Lion is really, really cool. Plus, I'm starting a class tomorrow that I needed to have Lion on my computer to be able to participate. Perfect, the way things work, don't you think? So, let me get back to this. What is it that you haven't discovered? Maybe it's the reason you're here. Or, talents that you know you have but for reasons maybe you're too shy maybe you think it's bragging for some reason you're not sharing you're not revealing you're not letting other people know you have these talents and I'm going to show you up close it's actually sculpted into a face on this side but this side it's unfinished Now, Herman Smith says, the image is in the wood, and it's my job to bring it out. Very much like Michelangelo said, the sculpture is in the marble, and what I do is I chip away the excess pieces to reveal it. I myself used to do wood carvings, and I can tell you for sure that the image that you want to create, it's definitely in the wood. I remember one block of wood I had once and I was carving and carving with my mindset thinking I wanted to produce this particular end result. But I hit this knot in the middle. It was impossible to get what I wanted. I had to change what I wanted to do with that piece of wood. And the different result I got was so perfect that even the knot made sense exactly where it was. So what part of you is hidden inside? just waiting to come out and brighten the world somehow. See, each of us is here for a reason and each of us has at least one very unique talent or maybe a spark in our personality. What's yours? Do you have the best smile that lights up a room? Does your presence just allow people to feel calm even when you don't say anything? When you discover what your talent is, share it. If you haven't done so already, go in over there and give me your name and email and I'll send you a copy of my book, How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. And I really appreciate your click and like and share to let others know we're here. Because you never really know someone else's 
spiritual path or what they're seeking because it tends not to be something we talk about openly. Again, I'm so glad that you came and you can find me at Metaphysical Ministry International. I always look forward to hearing from you so that we can work together to get your questions answered. I wish you a week filled with many blessings, especially in discovering who you are, what makes you special, and sharing your specialness to enrich all of us. Blessings.